dividing rational expressions, we're asked to divide and then simplify our answer as much as possible. And so we have one fraction being divided by another fraction. You may recall back before you included variables, if we just had numbers and fractions, the way that we divide fractions is to first switch the division to multiplication by flipping the second fraction. So that's going to be our procedure here as well. Right off the bat, I'm going to take this first fraction and rewrite it. 6y over 5a to the fourth. But I'm going to change this division into multiplication. And the way that I can do that is to flip the second fraction. The a to the fifth comes up to the top along with that y. And then the 4y to the 4th goes down to the bottom. And now we have multiplication of fractions, which allows us to cross cancel. So if I'm looking diagonally for cross canceling, looking at these two diagonal terms, I see that the 6 and the 4, those are both divisible by 2. So that 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. But then I also have some y's that cancel. I have 1y in the top, 1, and 4y's in the bottom. So this 1y will cancel and go away, and it will cancel one of those 4y's in the bottom, leaving me with just 3. So that's canceling on that diagonal. If I look at the other diagonal, the only whole number I have is 5, so I can't cancel anything with that. But for the a's, I do have a4 and a5. So all four of these a's can cancel four of the a's at the top. And since I had five a's, if I cancel four of them, I'm only going to be left with one a at the top. The four a's in the bottom canceling five a's in the top. And now that I'm through with my cross canceling, I'm going to multiply straight across on the top. Looking at my whole numbers here, I've got three is the only one. So three times, I guess we could put a one in there. Multiplying that would just give me a three in the numerator. And then looking at the variables, I've still got a to the one, so I've got one a left, and I've still got this y, this regular y. So that's multiplying across the top. Multiplying across the bottom, I've got whole numbers 5 and 2. When I multiply those, that gives me 10. And then looking at the variables, the a4 is canceled, but I've still got this y3 which is still there. So there's one more step for simplification that I want to do before we say we're completely done. The 3 and the 10 won't simplify, so that's done. The A doesn't have anything to simplify with it, but I do have 1Y on the top and 3 on the bottom. So this 1Y is going to cancel one of these Y's in the bottom, leaving me with just 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3a in the top and 10y squared now in the bottom. That's going to be our final simplified fraction. Very important to flip the first one before we start canceling and then do all of our cross canceling and simplifying to get our final answer.